U.S. officials expect the remains to be handed over to United Nations Command in South Korea at Ozan Air Base near Seoul, then transferred to Hickam Air Force Base in Hawaii. Once in Hawaii, forensic experts will face the challenge of identifying the remains. Among the techniques they could use are detective work with old photos, comparing DNA from remains to that of missing soldiers' relatives, and analysis of dental work. A U.S. official familiar with the process said the remains could be commingled, meaning not separated by individual, and could include people who were not American. The official, who spoke on condition of anonymity, said it could take months and even years to identify the remains. The degree that bones have broken down is also important, and deterioration, such as from being under soil, can affect whether DNA can be recovered, he said. Remains that North Korea has handed over in the past have not always been identifiable as U.S. troops, despite the dog tags North Korea handed over with them, according to a 1994 Rand Corporation research report. Between 1990 and 1992, North Korea returned 46 sets of remains, according to the report. With no exception, every North Korean claim associated with human remains has shown to be false. For example, these 46 sets are actually fragments of more than 70 individuals, the report said. Forensic analyses suggested none were American, the report said. Richard Downs, whose father went missing in the Korean War and is president of the Coalition of Families of Korean and Cold War POW slash MIAs, was optimistic the Trump-Kim summit would lead to the return of more remains. A more effective way of repatriating remains is to have a joint mission between U.S. researchers and the North Korean military, Downs said. The United States conducted joint recovery operations from 1996 to 2005. That method enabled U.S. researchers to keep the remains more intact and to glean clues from their surroundings. About 7,700 U.S. military personnel still remain unaccounted for from the 1950-53 Korean War, U.S. military data show. More than 36,500 U.S. troops died in the conflict.